Hi Aries, CJ here. Thank you for joining me at Infinitely Guided Tarot. I hope all is well with you and yours. I'm wishing you all love, light, peace, and blessings during the season for you and your families. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you hear any background noise, please forgive me. This is going to be your November 2020 love message. Okay. Don't hold on to anything. Ask your spirit guides if this message is for you, Aries. The first card out here is the Ten of Pentacles. So this is all about money. It's all about stability. It's all about the family. Okay. It's the legacy. Some of you may have children. I feel like um, some of you are definitely uh, dealing with someone. Okay. You may have be having chats. Some of you may be thinking about moving. Holy Spirit, messages of love, truth, and guidance for Aries, Summer, Rise, and Venus people. So we go from the 10 to the 9, and then the world, the tower, the Four of Wands, the chariot, the Ace of Wands, the magician, and the Wheel of Fortune. You have a lot of major arcana here, um, Aries. Okay, so there's going to be a lot happening. Um, the universe is helping you uh, turn a page here, it looks like. Step into the world, it looks like. Um, there's a lot of major arcana, so let's get to it. The bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. Okay, so this is the overall energy with the King of Cups. Okay. The Knight of Swords and um, Judgment. I feel this energy here where um, you may have a second chance here, um, Aries, when it comes to your relationship, okay? There may be a conversation that you want to rush in and have with someone or someone wants to rush in and have with you, okay? But I do feel the energy here of a second chance. I feel the energy here that if you move from friendliness, okay, um, that there will be a solution had is what I am feeling because I feel like everybody is in love everybody cares about one another here but there's a matter of stubbornness in the air is what I'm feeling here because the king of cups energy okay this is all water it's all about our emotions right but this king of cups is very um, mature in his uh, emotions he's managed them okay so it's like you can't really read him but he has a whole lot of love both feet in the water here, okay? So um, this person's love runs very deep, okay? And what's behind this King of Cups is celebration, it is joy, it is happiness. So I feel like there is a stubborn energy here that has a lot to say, but I feel like with judgment here, you do have the final judgment card. I feel like though, if you move from friendliness as opposed to um, stoic, uh, you know, harsh energy, there may be um, a new beginning here, a chance to turn the page and start anew. Um, in the past, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the World. I do feel like in the past, there's been some uh, upheaval with these two, with the fence between them, okay? I do feel the energy here where um, conversations may have been had in the past about a living situation, about a home foundation, okay? You may have children with, these person, with this person, but I do feel the energy here where there may have been um, an ending of a cycle, and you may find yourself um, either single at this time or feeling single. Okay, even though the Nine of Pentacles is contentment and solidity and stability, look at the space. It looks like this person is longing for some love, right? More than just money, okay? So I feel the energy here also where somebody may have taken a hit where their finances are concerned, okay? But um, I feel like, you know, somebody may feel at times they want to be single here. Okay, like they want to be free. Okay, then we have the Tower, the Four of Wands, and the Chariot. The Four of Wands in the center of the spread is my 1111 card. Okay, 1111 is blessings on the way. Okay, it also speaks about a twin flame, obviously. Okay, or at least at minimum soulmate energy here. So in the center of the spread, that's what somebody is thinking about. They're thinking about their home foundation. They're thinking about their significant other. They're thinking about um, 
the foundation that they have with someone, okay? But I do feel the energy of this tower here. No one actually, um, well, there is one person falling from this tower, okay? But I feel like that spirit got sort of shaking things up so that you can get to moving in whichever direction you've been hoping for, okay? I feel the energy here of a shakeup. I feel the energy here of a foundation that was created was not built on a stern and firm foundation. It was faulty. Okay. So I feel like some of you may live with someone. Okay. But I do feel the energy here where you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure out the home environment. There's something going on in the home. Some of you may be wanting to move. Okay. But with the chariot here, this is Scorpio energy, okay? With the um, the uh, Cancer uh, chariot here, okay? This is moving forward quickly, swiftly, but not only moving forward quickly and swiftly, this is about victory here, okay? I do feel the energy here where some of you Aries are going to achieve something um, commendable something that people will look to you and say wow you did that you know but for some of you in regards to a relationship i do feel like something is going to fade away to the wayside like you're moving past you may be moving past hard times uh, with this person or you may be moving past with your lessons by yourself either way it's like a good outcome okay because for you because the chariot is victory it is it's good okay and you see what all of these stars it's like it's what you wished for and the spirit god source is giving you this push to be moved in the right direction here okay um with the four of wands energy here aries this is you wanting a stable foundation this is you here in the center Okay, so 1111 may be very pertinent for you personally, but then we have the Ace of Wands. This is a brand new beginning. We have the Magician, which is also Aries for me as a reader, but it also is um, Air, okay, along with the Wheel of Fortune, all of the fixed signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. So you may have any of those in your chart. But what I see here in the future energies is a brand new cycle beginning for you. You being victorious in this and it's double confirmation because with the wheel moving in your favor, this is expansion. So some of you are definitely thinking about moving. But I do feel the energy here where you also may have a new love coming into your life. Okay. And it may be love at first sight for others of you. I do feel the energy here where you're trying to make something happen with someone that you are already with. You're trying to manifest a brand new expansive beginning for yourself is what I am feeling here. Okay? Is what I am feeling here. I do feel the energy here that someone may have felt, it's almost feeling out left in the cold, but you're good. You know what I mean? It's like either you got you feel left out in the cold because something happened in the past that was disappointing and it took one of your pentacles away, but you're still good, but you're wishing that it didn't happen is what I'm feeling. Um, like, for example, you may be still living at the home, but you don't feel like you're together, right? There might have been a change in the dynamic, okay? But I feel like you want to make you want to make changes here or you may not be doing anything and Spirit God Source is getting ready to come in and do it for you if you're not taking any lead or any action here. Let's see. For Aries, Holy Spirit. Oh, these cards don't even feel right. Let me get another deck. Those don't want to talk for you, Aries. Let's see here. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, people, Holy Spirit, please. Some of you may be married and you have children, or some of you live with a significant other. Aries.
maximized. A ton of pentacles here. For others of you, I feel like you was you was good on your own. When you were single, you were grounded. You were feeling good, looking good, glowing. And now you're feeling like, you know, in this relationship, things have changed. Right? When you got with this person, things have changed. That's what I'm feeling. We have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Cups. This is somebody waiting. Okay? This is somebody waiting to, um, and this is you, Aries. So I feel like this is you. You may be drinking a lot. Somebody around you may be drinking a lot. But I do feel the energy here where you may be dealing with someone who um, feels um, like you feel like they may have betrayed you in some shape, form, or fashion. And it's like you're spending time with yourself um, thinking about the future, thinking about how you can move this forward or how you could move forward is what I'm feeling. Some of you may be wishing that you were, um, you know, single. Things were used, things were the way that they used to be. What is this Nine of Pentacles? What, for Aries, what is this Nine of Pentacles? For some reason, I was going to say Taurus. You may have Earth in your sign. Or you may be dealing with an Earth sign. Okay, so we have the Lovers. For the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Sun. Someone doesn't want to be, someone doesn't want to feel lonely. Someone wants to be in a relationship that is truthful, that is victorious, and does not stress them out. Okay? They want to have a connection here. Okay? Okay? They want to keep a connection with their child. That's what I'm saying. They want to be in a happy collaboration is what I'm saying. But for others of you, I'm seeing that um, someone is stressed, but they want a connection with their child here. Okay. Even when things end with the world card. Okay. It's like in this connection, someone is feeling like they're by themselves. Okay. Truthfully speaking with the Ace of Swords. For others of you, there's this energy here, right, that um, somebody may be happily looking forward to when this, um, when this thing is over, okay? And I hate to say it like that because it sounds so harsh, but there's like this uh, twin flame energy here, okay, that it seems like, um, it's like that's what you wanted, but it's giving you stress, Okay, it's almost like you were longing for a connection. Okay, after some of you may have gotten into a connection where you carried some baggage into it with you and you didn't realize it. Okay, but it's like you were satisfied, but now, you know, you're longing, you're longing for something. Okay, you're longing for something and it feels like you're longing for real love. Okay, because what you got into, you don't feel like it is real love now, regardless of what it was in the past. You don't feel like it now. And with the Ace of Swords, it's like you want to have victory. You know what it is you want in the commitment, okay? But you're feeling stressed, okay? And I feel like once there's an ending with the world and you feel liberated, you're going to find another connection that makes you super happy, is what I am getting also. For others of you, I do see somebody is drinking and somebody is smoking as well. Okay, but you know, the overall energy is the King of Cups and it is celebrating and reuniting or partying. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, you want to party. You just want to be free. You want to be happy. You want to party. You want to be able to live, you know what I'm saying, freely. Okay, but deep down, okay, deep down, what this King of Cups doesn't say is that they are full of love and they want love. And that's what I see here. I feel like some of you got it, but what you got, you don't want anymore. You want something else now because it's stressing you out. You want a collaboration that's going to make you happy. And I also feel that somebody, if this ends, they still want a connection with their child here with the world. What's this tower? Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini or a Leo or any sign. 
the wheel of fortune see spirit god source came in and moved you or will because this is current will move you because this is what you're longing for anyway you're just not doing anything about it i feel what's the um four of wands what is aries sign here what is this Somebody is feeling regretful, Aries. You're not getting what it is that you want. And that's what the heartbeat of the spread is about. This four of wands. The foundation that you have created with someone. Okay. It may be a um, twin flame journey. It really may be. But there's this energy here of the Aries, the fool, wanting a brand new beginning because what they were getting, they're not, they're not satisfied with it. Okay, they're not satisfied with it. And I feel there's an energy here of somebody feeling regretful in regards to this. Okay, but from the four to the five is lingering a, um, a ace of cups here. So like I said, once the chapter is closed, you're going to run into somebody who is on the same page as you, who's free, who wants fun, happiness and joy in their life. And it may be a match here with the sun energy. What is the chariot? Somebody's displeased and they want nine of cups. They want wish fulfillment. But they're also regretful that they weren't able to make the, happy, the home foundation a happy foundation. They're regretful they weren't able to achieve that. So with the chariot, we have the knight of wands. The knight of wands is someone who uh, takes action. Just like the chariot, it takes action. Okay. But with the chariot behind this kind of passionate action, you know, it's victory. It's on your way to victory here, okay? In a, in a commitment, uh, literally, you may move right into another commitment or you may change your things around in this commitment. One more card for the knight and the chariot. One more card for the knight and the chariot. Oh, well, okay. So there's another tower here. So I feel like what Spirit God Source is saying is that if you don't move, we're going to move for you because you already have the epiphany that something has to change here. You already have the epiphany that you need to make a brand new start, a new beginning because you're regretful and sad with what you have, right? One more card after the tower. So we have the uh, page of swords. Some of you, um, you may have been dealing with someone who was non-committal, okay? And then there was a tower moment because somebody saw something, okay? Somebody saw something, heard something, or read something, received some information about something or someone. Yeah, see? Justice. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Libra, okay, but at the end of the day, Spirit God Source is making this stuff move and making the shakeup happen because you are not happy, okay? This is, this is Aries reading and this is the heartbeat of Aries reading. You're unhappy, okay? But I feel like with the fool here, you may be just moving through this, right? Just nonchalantly on the outside but on the inside you're displeased and you're regretful that this four of wands did not work out the way you wanted to spirit is here saying to take a brand new beginning make something happen for yourself so that you can be happy okay but it's the energy here where um someone is not moving okay even though they have all of the signs that they should so spirit comes in again with the tower and actually creates some type of conversation here that will be just that will create balance in your life and so that you can move forward okay what's the ace of wands moving forward see all right um on to a soulmate energy perhaps okay you may be dealing with a scorpio or a libra 
But I feel like you're manifesting your soulmate. You may be manifesting your soulmate or someone is dealing with a uh, magician here, okay? This justice card could speak of a marriage. It also could speak of the courts, okay, or a contract, okay? But I feel like that um, contract, if it's a contract, I feel like you need to read the small print, okay? Really research and dot your I's and cross your T's, okay? So that you can, uh, you know what's going on. If it's about a marriage, I do feel the energy here where um, there may be a divorce or there may be a uh, conversation about how uh, you guys can get on the right page, okay? There may be a conversation about that. But I feel like someone wants to... Um, Someone wants to move forward, okay, and take things back to the way that they used to be with this nostalgic thoughts of the past and this passion behind it. What is this magician? What is the magician for Aries? What is the magician for Aries? So there will, there will be an honest uh, conversation okay about how someone is feeling okay or how the both of you are feeling um okay i do feel the energy where someone feels that someone is acting very cold okay someone is being very cold here what is the wheel of fortune for aries a lot of cards so the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Queen of Cups, the Death card, and Victory. <clears throat> Remember, we have the King of Cups here and the Three of Cups here, okay? So I do feel the energy here where after this conversation, you guys can possibly, there is a chance if you move from friendliness, right, with the Sincere Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is also a friendship card. If you move from friendliness, you and this King, of Cup, uh, King and Queen of Cups energy here, okay, you can possibly transform the situation and have victory in it, okay, is what I am feeling, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like there can, there's a possibility of um, victory in this okay and everyone will be happy and on the same page okay but someone has to open up and um, leave ego behind okay all right but we have a true pair here with the king and the queen of cups let's see what spirit has to say with the love card this is the romance angel and the angel card together well, Spirit is saying, listen to your intuition. Playfulness, which is friendliness, right? And free your time is free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life. Yeah. However you want this to go, you can steer it in that direction. If you're unhappy and you need to move on, move on and free yourself. If you want this to work out, have an honest conversation because you both are feeling the same way. You're both feeling very cold. Okay. But you both have love. Someone's more in their feelings. Okay. I feel like you're both are in your feelings. Start from friendliness, playfulness. Okay. To, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine use your intuition in any situation that may have to do with uh court okay or uh contracts okay let's pull a divine twin flame card here or aries summarize venus people i am working on myself never be afraid to reinvent yourself okay and physical union 3D, I have loved you since forever. That is the lovers, okay? This is um, that energy as above, so below. Um, you guys have known each other before. It's a divine connection. It's definitely soulmate energy is right here, okay? I do want to bring out an affirmation for my Aries. Someone rise in Venus, people always bring out Aries. 
I love and accept myself as I am and everything in my life works. The next card you have is I do not worry about things I cannot control. I do not worry about things I cannot control. Yeah, it is up to you. You have an opportunity to make changes in your love life, okay? And it's up to you the path that you want to take. But instead of sitting there drinking, smoking, and drowning in your sorrows, feeling hurt and betrayed, and just looking but not doing, um, you have to do something because Spirit God Source is about to come in and help you decide, okay? So it's always better when we do it for ourselves, right? Okay, we feel more in control of our own destiny that way. Well, Aries, this is what I have for you. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Until we see each other again, please take care of yourself and be well. Namaste.